sometimes when uh, the brain forms, um, it forms in the absence of a structure that's called the corpus callosum. Um, and the corpus callosum is a structure that is in between the two hemispheres, so the two sides uh, of the brain. Um, and it provides uh, an important connection that allows us to um, put together or integrate um, our thinking. So in, in some ways, different parts of the brain actually do different things. So one way that we think about that is that language, our ability to understand language and our ability to, to make language, to speak, is produced in the left hemisphere, on the left side of the brain. Whereas our ability to, say, perceive shapes or do art, again, in, in kind of a simplified way, um, takes place on the right side of the brain. And our brain uses the corpus callosum to send these signals from one side to the other to integrate and to synthesize that information um, in, in sort of a, a complete way. And there are people who are born without this corpus callosum. And when they're born without it, we refer to it as agenesis um, or absence um, of the corpus callosum. And it never formed um, very, very early on in the development of the brain. And so in terms of the pregnancy, the normal corpus callosum is developing in the end of the first trimester and the beginning of the second trimester. And so um, that is the, the time uh, when the corpus callosum is developing. And this absence of the corpus callosum is something that can be seen um, on ultrasounds that are done um, in the 18 to 22 week period.